Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Serendipity by Melanie, who beat me in the chat. Just a reminder to be in live chat instead of top chat. If your speed lags a little bit, just put your speed setting to 1.25, it will catch you up and then get back to normal speed, or go out and come back in. I sell in Canadian funds, I ship from Western Canada, and um, if it's $15 Canadian, that would be about $12 US. So everybody should be in the chat now, and we're going to get going. I have this, oh, I better measure you guys, because it's hard to determine. This is five and a half inches tall. His vase is beautiful. The green applied handles, smooth on the bottom. I mean, it feels bubbly only because of the color bubbles in it. It does need a bath, but the handles are applied. It is very pretty. Swirls and bubbles. So for this, it is $15, number 95. $15, number 95. And it's got dust on the inside, too. <laughs> I have this beautiful fan. I love fans. I have quite a few of them. Isn't that lovely? And then, so it's acrylic on the bottom lace. So for this fan, here it is. $12, number 54. $12, number 54. This makes great wall art. <clears throat> hmm. So crafting material here. I have a bag of mixed jewelry, broken pieces, beads, Just bundled together. Looks like there's a moose in there. Blue beads, brown, a heart. This looks like a hair clip. So for this bag here, it is $8, number 47. $8, number 47. And I brought out one more bag. These are like navy and reds. Um, beads and larger ones. Just a mixture here. A lot of necklaces. I haven't gone through this packet. I see that, you know, the red one has its clasp, so I assume it's a necklace. So this is $8, number 55. $8, number 55. And I'll call it in the chat. I have this elephant ashtray. Isn't he great? The person who bought him before didn't get him hand-painted Royal Japan on the bottom. He's great. Like, I'll give you a measurement. He's such a nice size. He's just under six inches high and he is six inches wide <laughs> he's great so for this guy oops I put my number on the wrong spot so for this guy he is $25 number 74 $25 number 74 and he's smoking a pipe so the ashtray part is the pipe in case I didn't show that very well, so this is the pipe. And I'll call it in the chat. I have this, I mean, it's old, but it's like brand new, never used. It's one of those bun warmers. Um, the pouch is, my hand's in the pouch. And so you put your fresh buns and... Uh, wrap them up in the basket and then you can put your knives and your butter in there and butter packs. So I'll give you a measurement. This is my mom's. It's nice 
thick material, not junky at all, 17 inches wide, and it is two feet long, so 24 inches. But it's beautiful, you can hear how thick the material is. So for this bun, bun warmer here, ah, it is $8, number 56. $8, number 56. Yeah, my mama's stuff. So I have these crystal glasses here. I'll give you a measurement because I have one large and seven of these size. This is six and a quarter inch tall. They are crystal. No chips or cracks. So I have seven of these and one of the large water goblets. And this one is seven inches tall. This is my set. They're beautiful. So for all eight pieces, I know it's not exactly a, a set. I know I have more somewhere around, but I just am doing one box at a time that comes out. <laughs> Whichever box, right? So this is uh, for this, the group of eight. It's going to be $25, number 70. $25, number 70. And they are crystal. And I'll put that back here, just in case I get a little rowdy. So this is also my mum's. It is Tupperware. And what it is, is you put your meat and you, uh, it's a marinating container. So you put your meat and your marinade in there and you put the top on. And then, oops, a little bit of fluff here. And then it seals very well. So when you just flip it. And so it is Tupperware. I have one and I use it for my marinating my teriyaki chicken and they work great. Very good seal on them. This one hasn't been used much. Mom didn't use it too, too much. So for this, it is $10, number 16. It's got glitter and stuff inside. It needs a wash. $10, number 16, just because it was with the Christmas ornaments. I have this teacup and saucer. Oh my God, this is mine. Royal Staffordshire Bone China made in England and established in 1845. And this is the pink set. I love these. So I am downsizing. So for this teacup and saucer, $25, number 96. $25, number 96. And I'll call it in the chat. Uh, I need a little more room to put that down because of the base. There. And I have this different pattern. And it's the more open, shorter one. And it's established 1775, Ainsley, made in England, fine English bone china, A-Y-N-S-L-E-Y. -E and here's the back. This set goes, this teacup and saucer goes for good money. That's a really good brand. So for this one, it is $25, number 8. $25, number eight. And if they don't sell here, I'm going to list them on my Etsy page in the next week or so. <clears throat> you guys know I have weird things. This would need some cleaning. It is a, a movie reel. It's on the inside. Um, the lid fits on nicely. And I'm not sure what it is. So, I was just going to use it as decor. But I don't know what movie is on it or anything. 
It's at CECOL 800 feet. So if you're doing uh, crafting with like the books and that sort of thing, this is a lot of negative of 800 feet. <laughs> so for this container here, it is 10 inches wide and about an inch, inch and a half high. And like I say, it does need cleaning and such. So for this, it is $18, number 35. $18, number 35. And it's just cool to have something that others don't, right? I just need to put that down. I have these little crafty things for kids. There's letters in the alphabet in there. I'm not sure exactly what these are called. It, something mm, tear off protective film before use. So they're different shapes, lips, and the halo there. So these have been used, just crafting stuff for, for the kids. So this bag is $3, number 19. $3, number 19. Told you guys I have such a variety. I'm just going to open up this Ziploc. Sorry about rushing at the very end. I did want to get all my Christmas into that one, so it was kind of rush, rush. I'm going to measure these. Between the um, screw holes is three and three quarter inch, it looks like. So I have a set of four of these handles. They're rusty and old. Not rusty, but they they can be polished up. So I have a set of four for this group is six dollars number ninety two. Six dollars number ninety two. And it seems like two the screws are all there it looks like. And I'll call it in the chat. So I have this one shaker this pattern is popular. This was from my dad's. The stopper is there. And it's about three inches tall. And I don't know, I should have looked up the name of the pattern, but it's like a brown color here. So for this shaker, it is $4, number 76. $4, number 76. And I'll call it in the chat. Hmm. So I have some of these uh, 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 um, bias tape, polyester and cotton. Um, one is open, this coral peach color. And then these ones aren't open, polka dotted navy blue. The yellow. This is another coral color. And this is piping, the green piping. So for this bundle here is ten dollars number thirty-four. Ten dollars number thirty-four. And I'll call it in the chat. And then I have another bundle here which has some rickrack in it. This package hasn't been opened with the green. This is, you know, the piping in yellow. Here's, um, the package has been open on this one. It's hem facing. This is Rick Rack in white and in navy blue. So for these, eh, eh, all fingers and fumbling. So for this packet here is $10, number 67. $10, number 67. And if you are a reseller, you'll do well on those. Definitely. I'm just going to move these. So I have this crystal creamer. Nice etched in glass. Good weight to it. It is crystal, but I can't get it to ting because I'm hanging on to it. Ouch. 
<laughs> here's the bottom. No chips or cracks. This beautiful creamer here is $6, number 20. $6, number 20. Crystal is really making a comeback right now. And I have this brandy snifter, sniffer, snifter in crystal as well. I used to collect brandy snifters. So for this, it is $6, number 30. $6, number 30. And I'm going to get a measurement on this. This isn't really old. It's a replica, you know, probably 10 years old. And it's 15 and a half inches high and about, oh, I would say five inches wide. And this is, you hang your jewelry on it. It is metal. This is like an, um, uh, resin. And it looks really nice set up. I can unscrew the top so the shipping won't be as much. But just hang your necklaces. And I was thinking on my other dress form that I have, I was going to put, um, burlap so I could put my brooches in. So for this, it is $15, number 52. $15, number 52. And I'll call it in the chat. And I'm just going to reach for my other one. Ooh, ooh, sorry, everyone. So this one is just the metal. It looks like it hangs in your closet. That's just the decor. And this is six, 17 inches high. And the base is about 7 inches wide. And it's just the metal. Just the dress form. But yeah, burlap would be great, and then you can put your pins and earrings and everything. So for this, it is $15, number 31, bust form. $15, number 31. Oh, did I get this off you, Nancy? I love this. Um... I just want somebody to be able to use it better than I just had it hanging on a on a door in my living room for my panel box and I just think somebody could display it way nicer than me. This is for a child and I'll give you the measurement. Very large hook on it. Uh the wooden piece is eleven and a half inches with the little ducks on it. Three little ducks. So this is $8, number 9. $8, number 9. And the hook is large. Like I say, I buy lots of things and then I change my mind because, you know, I'm not using them very much. This is Anchor Hawking Fire King Oven Proof, made in the USA. One and a half quart USA. Anchor Hawking Fire King. So it is one and a half quart, but I'll give you a measurement. I would bake a cake in it. It's ten inside by six and a quarter inside measurement. In really, really good condition. It doesn't need a cleaning. You know me. So for this, it is ten dollars, number fourteen. Ten dollars, number fourteen. And I'll call it in the chat. I have Dress It Up Creative Collection Red. Great for memories. Contains buttons designed and copyrighted by Jesse James and Incorporated. This is a bag of heart-shaped acrylic. There's 35 pieces in here. Just a little packet hasn't been opened. So this is $2, number 38. $2, number 38. I have some vintage blue buttons. These are the navy blue ones. Some are large, some are small. These ones have stripes on them. 
thinking of buttons, praying for you, Joni. I love you. I hope you're feeling better. Hope the surgery went well. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous with the metal back? Oh, Joni. And then smaller ones. But there is quite a few in here. So it is $6, number 91, for the navy blue. $6, number 91. And I have this uh, bag here. You can reuse the bag, wash it out, and it, it really saves fresh um, your vegetables. But it is filled with used stamps. So here's the back instructions on your vegetables and such. I don't know how the stamps ended up in here, but there are lots, like a lot. So these used stamps are going to be $8, number 37. $8, number 37. And I'll call it in the chat. I have this beautiful um, Make the Dust Fly, John Ralph Schnurmberger. He's a famous artist here in BC, Swiss-born, um, grew up in ad admiration for the cowboy and love of horses. And uh, since 1974, they've lived in a rural small community in British Columbia. And he is famous more than just in BC. He's an incredible artist. So this is 15 inches by 12 inches. This is going to be $20, number 73. $20, number 73. And where do I put it? And then, no. No, no, no. Not that. This one. Maurice, the beloved vagabond. This is a very, very old picture, an old frame. I'll show you the back. Like, it's incredible how old it is. And the picture is moving a bit. This is an 8 by 10 The original vagabond. So for this picture, it is $10, number 49, $10, number 49, vintage. And I'm just looking around me. Oh, well, I have these two little baskets. These are cute, used at my brother's wedding. Just it held the uh, mosquito repellent and the sunscreen. So I'll give you a measurement of these. So they are just five and three quarters inches high by six inches wide. They are dusty, sorry. So for these two, it is $12, number 21. $12, number 21. Like I say, they, they were only used that one weekend. And I'll call that in the chat. I don't know if anybody's going to... You can craft with these. Fork, knife, and spoon. They're napkin rings made in India. They are brass. And I have five of them exactly the same. So for the five of them, it is $10, number 46. $10, number 46, made in India. So that's those. And I have a very large bag of collector spoons from all over. Some of them are a bit too worn, but there's pieces. Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. Oh, there's a lot of Canadian ones in there. So, with these ones, this one is Nova Scotia. Look at the detail. Love them. And this one is the Yukon. 
So there is a lot of Canadian ones in here. But for this bag, it is $12, number 97. $12, number 97. Some have pieces missing. Um, there is wear on them. And I'll call it in the chat. And what else? Ooh, I'll move those over. And I have these rolls of lace. I'm not sure the, the, the amount that's in there, but I will measure the piece of cardboard so that you can get a just of it. Oops, my measuring tape. So the cardboard is eight and three quarter inches and it's wrapped quite a few times. These are beautiful, the blue. So this is $8, number 62, $8, number 62. And I have a little less of the pink. But it's beautiful. So this is $8, number 48. $8, number 48, with the flowers on the lace. This is a, a thinner white. Wrapped quite a few times. Very pretty detail. So this is $8, number 82. And I can unroll them off the cardboard to ship, you guys. $8, number 82. And here's a larger white one. These are great. Wrapped quite a few times. So this is $8, number 2. $8, number 2. And like I say, I don't have to ship them on the cardboard. Here's a bundle. This one is quite a depth. Isn't that pretty? Wrapped quite a few times around itself. This one here is $8, number three. $8, number three. I use, not that one, but I use some of these on my tins that I make. This one is purples and greens and blues and pink. I don't. So this one is $4, number 93. $4, number 93. Here's some white and peach. Peach and white. So white, peach, and white. This group together. There's not very much of the bottom two colors, but there is more of the top one. So this is $8, number 68. $8, number 68. And then I have a little handful of peach. These are like four inch. That's pretty. And then a little bit of white. Sorry. So for these two, it is $3, number 44. $3, number 44. Oops. This one is a hard one. Um, I've shown this before. I would put it on the edge of my shelf. It's got a s adhesive here, and it just decorates your shelf a little more shelf edging. It says six feet wide. So this is three dollars number 15. Three dollars number 15 and it is like a, a plastic. So everybody that's it for this evening. I'll just show you this one last packet all of it. There's lots of the red and the white and so for this group here three different ones quickly. Love you guys. Thanks and I'll see you on Saturday. Eight dollars number 12. Eight dollars number 12. See you on Saturday. Bye-bye.